Xbox and stuff can't do that. Um, I don't know. I'm really sad with where gaming's right right now, though. I'm not gonna lie. Why? Because when when that Black Ops beta ended, I did not know where to go with my time. Like <laughs> I, I'm literally at the point where I'm just clicking a game and then playing it for five minutes and then getting off of it. I can't stand Overwatch. Literally, anytime anybody asks me to play it now, I can't play it. Why? Dude. It's just the toxicity that is in that community, bro. It's terrible. If you don't have a full team, and I know you probably have people that you can play with. I normally solo though. Yeah. Yeah, I normally I solo. can't solo, dude. And I can't even queue with three or two of my buddies mm -hmm. because it's just it's like the worst experience. It's like if Overwatch I, is a friend killer. Like it you is. can't play with your friends if one of them's not good. Like you get so frustrated at them yeah. and you start yelling at them. But I feel like I'm the bad friend and no one wants to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I just main mercy, dude. I just go around healing people. I can understand why you'd be tired of the game. But the game is in a good spot right now because I believe it's that you have multiple dive metas, you have multiple uh slow roll uh metas, you have Weird ass comps with snipers, like you can. Yeah. There used to be just like three types of comps you got. Now it's like eighteen or twenty or something. I like how it is right now, and the, the way I deal with the toxicity is the moment someone just mute. does something and more. Yeah, I just literally just mute them, like, yeah. and then I just don't. I just avoid that player and yeah. I have enough slots left for that. I understand. Well, I end up avoiding <laughs> a lot of players. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just I, like when I play. Um, when I play a competitive game, like I I want to be really good at it, and I want to be able to move up Elo because in Overwatch I don't feel like I am a silver player. Like I really don't. I am not that bad at every game to be silver in Overwatch. I should at least be gold. And I get paired with people who literally just throw all the time. Okay. Um. But people throw too much in Overwatch. That's they, what my problem is. And when you have ELO systems like this, you are literally stuck in that ELO because, right, we have a night where I can get to gold, mm -hmm. but then the next day when I solo queue, it it matches you with people around you. So right. it's not necessarily gold ELO. Right. It's like 1950 and then 1900. And those people, just by chance, are people that throw. Like, they literally throw. They, so... There's a there's playlists for groups that say, "Hey, we're throwing in bronze," which I'm fine. Go ahead and group like that's that's if you want to throw. If you want to group, yeah, group and yeah. throw, yeah. Why are you be on the opposite team? Though? Though? No, and that there was a, a video put out by Car Q a couple um, I want to say days ago actually, just to kind of explain the the toxicity in Overwatch because that's just generally everyone's number one complaint is how toxic people can get after like. Trying to push for a for an objective for like two or three minutes and like you feel you're doing absolutely you're killing people and and like when you kill like three of them somehow like the other three kill the rest of your team and you're just like what happened yeah like, you're like are we not working together as yeah a team? like what do you like and I'll, like you can only plead with them so many times too like after after like I will literally do I'll switch to whatever you guys want me to like what do you guys want to do let's come up with a plan and then but it's like and then no one talks or yeah something. and then someone will just be like f you or they'll call yeah. me an n word or something yeah, stupid like that just like what, like, what? like about, or they'll yell or they'll yell obscenities on their mic over and over again until you mute mute them so like, Jedio said I can never relate when people complain about the toxicity of Overwatch so when I say toxicity. I don't mean like someone is screaming in the mic "f you, f you" right. over and over again. I mean the literally throwing the game. I'm picking Torb playing. and handing out and staying in the entrance. Yeah, like. or people that don't switch, I consider that toxic. And then people that just don't switch, don't type, don't talk, that's toxic as hell, dude. I don't. I understand the game. I understand if you are good enough to be like, hey, leave me alone, because I do that in solo right, queue. Yeah. If I don't text Which or talk. You, but I hold my own. Most assassin characters choose. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, you're a Genji or a Tracer or something Dude, like that. Dude, it's like you like, don't need to. You're just, you're kind of yeah. like a freelancing guy. You just go over, you get your picks, and then do whatever yeah, you need to do. Yeah, then go up, heal up again, and come yeah. back and try to do it again, basically. Exactly. But then you get the people who are Torb, right? You're Torb. Oh, offense Torb. You're offensive <laughs> Torb. And this is like... This is like every three games. I would I would say I would agree with it. I have something like those like, longings. It's like it's terrible. Either someone dude. who just like whatever I play Bastion or Symmetra or weird characters in general. It's not as bad anymore, but 
they just like, well, if I guess if no one's gonna heal me, I guess I'm just gonna go. And then they throw. Yeah, and then they're just, just they just walk into the enemy like. It's just, like. It's like, do you not understand that we were just having a hard time as a team? Right. And maybe right. you're getting frustrated, but don't take it out on the healer right. that was trying to focus on the tank rather Which, than you. It's like, um, I don't understand I do it. hate like, when people complain about heals. However, people sometimes don't know how to heal, right? Yeah, like, I mean, it's true. Like, if you, like, as, a, as an off-tank player, what, what I normally play, like, I usually queue up and, like, listen, pocket me. Like, yeah. you want things to die? Pocket me. Like, yeah. I'm not saying only heal me, but... Take that beam on me if no one else needs it, basically, and just keep it on, like, because yeah. I'm a super. That's, that's what tanks are supposed to do. They're supposed to be aggressive and get up to the front and whatnot. When you try to be an aggressive tank player in and you don't have a good healer, then yeah, it's 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 impossible to be a tank player without a good healer, basically. Yeah. Um, I hate when like I, I don't like playing Ryan. I know how to play Ryan and whatnot, but it's obviously it's a more boring character because you have to always hold a shield up and yeah. slowly walk forward and stuff like that. Uh, it's fun swinging that hammer around, but it is super frustrating. Like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna try to initiate a pin. I'm not I'm not gonna go too deep though. I just keep me alive as I want to, and then I can back out basically. And it's very rare that that you know. If so, like as like a person who normally is a mercy main, I would consider myself a mercy main. Mm -hmm. So like when a like another toxic thing that I would consider it like talk to toxic right. in the community right. would be like. Picking Ryan or something like that, or like a tank, and you are literally like the pushing point of the team, mm -hmm. and then you don't push yes, at all. Absolutely, it's like that's one of the number dude, one losers of games. I feel. And so, and then they and then they blame it on the team, and they're like, nothing's no one's dying or anything or like, like that. And yeah. I'm like, dude, it's because you haven't pushed yeah. at all. You are literally the guy with a walking that is, shield. You, you have your job. Like, so like I'm holding my heels on him. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I'm waiting for you to do yeah. something. Yeah. Go and charge even if, in something. If like, you charge in something, I'm gonna give you a damage boost yeah. too, and you'll you'll get that. Not only will you get Crush the first kill, yeah. yeah, you'll you'll also on the next swing you'll probably kill him because yeah. you hurt him with your like dash forward. Exactly. It's like. That's why I feel like I shouldn't be in silver. It's because like I can understand that stuff, but mm -hmm. people throwing are literally like the worst thing, and it just keeps me in silver. They are. Like, it's so stupid, man. I, I have learned. Um, I just have a. I, I do believe Overwatch has taken a lot of steps to combating that. Like I think that they have a good algorithm in place to, to be like, okay, like the game was lost because this dude like has zero damage or zero healing or whatnot. Like yeah. they will take less points away for the loss and stuff like that, but. It is very frustrating. Like you can only get to the point at like where you just laugh at it. You're just like, I can't believe I'm in another one of these games where someone is picking Bastion and not leaving Spawn, basically. I know. It is like I, I don't I just don't understand when people do picks like that and then they choose to like stay in spawn and stuff like that. It just doesn't make sense and I don't like I don't, that game anymore I have, because of it. Like I have never in my life had to urge like to just be like I'm just I'm gonna throwing. Oh, yeah I'm just gonna yeah. throw like I will still keep going forward like I probably won't play as good probably but I don't understand like oh, what's already watch we might as well give this one up like I feel Overwatch is a game where it's never over until it's over basically I've, yeah I've had games where like we pushed it all the way through I don't know just one like uh I can weld or something like that and. You're like and then the other team um, gets it through like way faster than you. Like maybe you only have like one minute left or something, and they have like five minutes, five, six yeah. minutes, something like that. And then you're just like, but then, so you go first, but then you you actually pull through, and then you stick on the overtime the whole time, and you yeah. win each team fight and go again. And then the other team um, did it, and they did it again, and so we had another round where yeah. the third round that we went all the way, and we stopped the theme team on the third try basically, but. That is what I love over Overwatch Warriors because there's always the ability to come back if you can just work as a team together and and your DPS needs to kill things yeah. too. Like that is an important thing, but usually like the the formula to Overwatch is get a pick, bum rush everybody, fight over basically. Exactly. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> and it's just like I I don't think people are I don't know that's what that ruin it. it it ruins the game for me is that like a lot of people aren't competent enough. To, uh, yes. And like, it's like. I don't want to play competitive games that I can't carry a team. Like I know you can carry an Overwatch, mm -hmm. and like, but I, I can't carry. Well, it's just because of the character. Like, there's, there's probably like five or six carry characters. Uh, most of them are DPS. Yeah. Like, um, Roadhog used to be one. I'm not sure if he's one anymore, but 
he's super durable because he doesn't need anything. He heals yeah. himself and all that good stuff. But you can carry like if you are just a, like a god widow. Oh yeah, you'll carry the game with a god. Yeah, like, you will. Headshot, headshot. Yeah. If your team doesn't have to do anything, then yeah, like it's just hard to carry with all the normal characters that people actually like to play and are fun and stuff like that. Yeah. I I don't mind playing Tracer and Genji or whatnot, but they're too twitchy too twitchy of a characters for me to enjoy playing the game. Like, yeah. I want to be Zarya. I want to charge my beam up, and I want to just wreck people with my Ghostbuster. Yeah, beam, yeah. Or I don't. I just need more health because I feel uh like when it comes to shooters, I am way less careful. Like Counter Strike, I was lucky if I usually got like an even like KO yeah. uh, ratio basically. Like because I was the kind of just ran, 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 and like oh my god, I'm and then I wouldn't see the guy that's coming to my right and just get murdered and stuff yeah. like that. But with tanks and stuff, um, people with larger health pools, um, you can do that a little bit and say, "Oh, crap! Let me back up a little bit yeah, more." Yeah, that's true. You have that. You have that time. And yeah. then, like while that's happening, there's a lot of like other skills that you utilize, like that you get good at, like the beams and stuff like that. So yeah. you're not. It's not like it's not like you're bad with characters with 150 health. Right. But you're just more skilled with like yeah, other I characters. Yeah, I take more, more, a little more like. I'm, I tend to not look at my health bar. Like I, t I tend to put my eyes on target and yeah. like I don't care if I'm dying. You're coming with me, Mofo. Like, yeah. And then by the end of it, you're like, oh my god, I have ten health left. Somebody heal me. Somebody yeah. heal me. Like, Please heal me. There, give me a bubble. <laughs> Just something like which that's why I like Zarya the most. Um, I fl I believe the utility characters, um, Sombra, um, Zarya, um, probably to an extent Roadhog. Um, they are. They bring a lot of stuff to the team, um, especially Zarya. Like you, literally can save your your teammates' life with those bubbles, basically. Yeah, um, you can. And you, if you get advanced, like you can save them. Like if, like say, like you put a bubble on a friend who's just getting shot, and then but you're like, oh man, he needs more. You can put the bubble on yourself and stand in front of him too, yeah, and stuff like that. It's, that is crazy. There's just yeah. so many little nuances with uh, utility characters that Brigitte as well. God, super super utility character yeah. Brigitte. Like, like I. She can 1v1 anyone. She can yeah. 1v1 anyone except for uh, probably Hog or someone. She, she wrecks Diva. Like, she, yeah. she wrecks nearly everyone. Like, there's never. I love Brigida because it's, she's, a, she's a healer, but you just. You're like, oh my god, it's the Brigida. Yeah, I, like, I can't no. be. Even if there's a person near me, I don't want to be a part of this. Like, yeah. she's just going to bash my brains in with her thing and not stop. That's true. Brigida is. Have you seen the new long jump that. Someone figured out to, like the glitch with her. No. I don't know. If, well, we don't know it's a glitch. Like so, she has her shield bash. She goes forward. Yeah. And then the, she has the flail where it's a long range one that knocks them backwards. The shift. So if you do, if you hold the shield up and you do the boost, and then halfway through you throw the thing, it literally gives you like a wrecking ball style. Oh really? Um, jump across half the freaking map, basically. Okay, um, like if they they are, they have to fix this at least a little bit because. Yeah. Like you can, but jump. it's like an actual skill that's supposed to be in the game. They don't, or you're saying that you don't know. If, no one knows yet. Uh, like somebody found it like two, like one or two days ago uh, and okay. used it. How's now, that not been found since? Now maybe the, it's a new it's, bug. It, that yeah, came well, out? it could have been like one of with one of the newest patches or something. Maybe it's it just okay. automatic. You know, something happened with it or something. But yeah. I, it, it makes the the character have mobility, and you're just like this character doesn't need yeah he, mobility. She like nope, she doesn't need no mobility. Things come to her; she can just swing her flail around. She needs like, to hold her shield up and walk slowly. I don't slowly need her like to Reinhardt. be able to jump to my spawn, yeah, like, and then jump out of there again. That's true. <laughs> just, yeah. Like I couldn't imagine. She's so tanky. With 250 health, that just if you're hitting yeah. things, that just constantly it reheals itself. And 300 or the 200. Oh no, it's 150 armor now, but it re also replenishes like as long as your your rally cry goes or yeah. whatever like that. Like. Brigitte is probably my new my new day. Like Zarya, your Zarya and Zarya was right up there. Yeah, I would say yeah. Brigitte, I still play both of them, but Zarya is kind of dying right now because with a Zarya you almost always need a Reinhardt. Like, yeah, you generally always need a Reinhardt if you're Zarya, and you need another like a mass damage character like Hanzo or Genji or or. Uh, Tracer or Pulse, yeah. Pulse Mom or something like that. So, so to use her, it's kind of more... You basically, if you don't have one of like one of those characters that can do a massive amount of damage for their ultimate, and you don't have a Reinhardt to... Uh, the Reinhardt is the one that you're going to use the bubbles on most, because the Reinhardt, you, you know, it's, his job is to charge in yeah. and start to create some space or whatnot, so he can do that freely if like he starts going in and people start shooting, you throw that bubble up, and he just charges, they just charge you up. 
and you come in right behind him, and then bang, boom, you roll 80% charge. He's already yeah, like, exactly. you better run now because you're going to get some plasma grenades in your face. Basically. Yeah. I, I do miss Overwatch. Like, I haven't, I have to play it. Like, again, I don't get much time to play it, but it's, I think the reason that you don't like it as much is probably because you've been forced to be a Mercy Knight. Like, I, I don't think it's a bad character. I yeah. do, I have fun playing Mercy and stuff like that. But the real fun is in starting the action or no, finishing off true, people yeah. and stuff like that. I completely agree because I have times where with my group where I'm just like, dude, I don't give a shit if you guys yeah. care. I'm going Doomfist. Yeah. Like, Which I, Doomfist I just is, want to tear stuff up. Doomfist like, is heavy in the meta right now. Doomfist and Sombra Doomfist. are like, they're skill, they're, they're skill based, just like Genji and Wrecking Ball. Yeah. Uh, they take a lot um, to do it right, but once you have it down, like a Doomfist. Is terrifying, especially like, oh, he's chosen me as his target. Like, I'm about to get four CC comboed here, and I'm yeah. like, stun, 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 and then, yeah. oh, I'm dead because he punched me into a wall. Like, like a fighting game. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, I I don't know. It makes me wonder what the next character is going to be, actually. Video said, Crimping Exploit was discovered when Brigitte was in the bar. On the newest patch. Okay, yeah. It was like I saw the videos of it though. It was just like it was a dude on Hollywood and he was up on where the cafe is above that first capture point. Yeah. Um, and he like used it and then jumped basically like all the way through the archway and it was just That's insane. A flying Brigida, are you kidding me? Yeah, like, you're this, just like what? That will kill the game. Like yeah. people like her, but not to the point where it's like, Oh, it's the boss, like gonna beat the boss before we can win the game yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think overwatch will always be around just like csgo and everything i it makes me wonder when they are um at least overwatch 2 like how many years do they go um because it's still a game as a service like even though the game was made years ago like upgrades are made on a weekly Constantly, basis yeah. yeah like the graphics will probably just true. keep improving and stuff like that too. like it makes me wonder if they're even gonna do a number two or take the route of Counter Strike and take the route of Rainbow Six Siege, right. like where they just create seasons. I mean, they already have seasons, obviously, but I mean, just like stick with that, and then where they make like an expansion, like forty dollars for the new. I just really don't understand how they could redo Overwatch. Like, would they put the same characters in from the last Overwatch? It would be really weird. It would be weird, and we're I think we're nowhere near that. Like, I oh yeah, I don't think with so, the creation no. of the Overwatch League yeah. and stuff. Like, I think we need to go at least. Like four or five, five six seven yeah. years like before i would agree with that because it's not gonna die out until then yeah like as long as like right now you, the, the biggest esports scene is overwatch like yeah because blizzard did it right like they did it themselves they put tons of money into it millions and millions of dollars into it and then they got professional sports franchise people to buy those 25 well the first round was 25 million dollars a team now it's 60 million dollars a team and they just expanded to eight new cities like, Insane, so it'll dude. be 20 cities um, probably for season three. At least two will be coming in for season two, but looks like the other six will be coming in uh, season three or whatever.